Um, I'm going to go back to when you first found out that Powers was going to be the first original network for PlayStation. What, what did you feel about taking on a project um, pioneering? Well, I, I, I was really shocked to be uh, super shocked. I, I, <laughs> you know, I mean, if someone would have told me I'd be in a, a superhero outfit, I probably would have laughed at them. I mean, I, I, uh, I was an odd choice. But I think it's the right choice, and I, I, uh, I understand the character. You know, he has a bit of reluctance of having superpowers. Like, I was reluctant to be that guy. So it, 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 it works that way, you know, psychologically. It's good for the acting, and uh, it has a certain reality to it. And I, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I mean, I, I haven't seen any of it, so I'm really kind of excited to see what it, what it all looks like, you know? I mean, it's really, uh, I gradually introduced over, I think, eight or nine episodes. And so, you know, there's a progression of, of him and what he has to do. And uh, I'd like to come back and, and finish it or do more or even make uh, a feature film, you know, of it. Who knows, I'll be flying around with Robert Downey uh, what was the biggest... Iron Man. That's right, bring them on. It'll, it'll make sense. It'll all make sense. Yeah, it would, yeah. <laughs> what was the biggest difference for you between season one and season two in regards to your character? Well, I wasn't in season one, so <laughs> that's, that's the difference. I'm kind of talked about, but I, I, I'm introduced in, in, this, in this season. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I, uh, I survived. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to tell that, but maybe I gave away a secret. <laughs> what, what do you resonate with most about Super Shock? Because you said you have a lot of similarities. I, I think he, he's, he's trying to save humanity and uh, trying to do some good things for people. And I mean, it's, it's hard being a superhero, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's very mind boggling, it's very physically demanding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you did some stunts. Can you tell us that much? I, I've been doing my own stunts for 25 years, so. You know, I'm I'm hard to double. Yeah. It's really hard to double me. I have a, you know, as my, my silhouette or my my uh, I'm hard to double, and I, I like doing my own stuff. And I did it for so many years, I just kind of got used to it. But I mean, there's certain things you can't do. But I don't mind being hung up by a crane and flying around. And and uh, when you have superpowers, you don't have to hit anybody. You just do that, and I'll fly against the wall, so it's... I've never even thought about that. No, it's kind of good. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a different way to fight, yeah. And then, is there anything about Super Shock that you think the fans should look out for? Is there anything that I want? About Super Shock that fans should be, like, worried about or look out for? Um, I, think, I think he's going to be great. I mean, I think, I think people will like him because he's a different kind of superhero, you know? I'm not the usual handsome, you know, superhero. I, 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 I wanted to bring a little bit of, uh, I don't know. You know, I wanted him to have a, a yin and yang, you know. I think I pulled it off. Cool. I look forward to seeing it. All right. All right. Thank you.